Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Tonight, we're going to take a look at something different. There is a challenge out there issued by Chad9976 of Chad's Beer Reviews in order to review a non-alcoholic beverage for charity. So tonight, I thought I'd take a look at something completely different. Canadian Coca-Cola. This one, also in a glass bottle, is a beverage that originates in Atlanta, Georgia, in the United States, in 1886, 125 years ago this year. Uh, I don't know exactly the exact date of when it first started being shipped into Canada. I imagine it was around the turn of the century. Um, today, Coca-Cola is a very highly mass-produced beverage, very popular, very almost seemingly generic. But there are subtle differences between this Coca-Cola, its, uh, counter, its competitive counterpart, Pepsi, and also every other generic bottle of, co of Coke out there. Even with the individual bottles of Coke, there are actually subtle differences between uh, drinking Coca-Cola out of a plastic bottle, a can, as well as the glass bottle. Personally, I like the glass bottle the best. One thing that's important to note about Coca-Cola, the Canadian version of Coca-Cola, is that we still use real sugar in our, in our Coca-Cola. Um, it's different from the United States where they use high fructose corn syrup almost exclusively. Uh, there's been a movement started by Pepsi to introduce like the, the throwback series in which they use real sugar again. And that's actually a trend I'd like to see Coca-Cola do as well. Uh, even in Canada, if you look at the ingredients list that comes printed on the cap of this particular bottle, it says carbonated water, sugar, glucose, fructose, caramel color, phosphoric acid, natural flavor, and caffeine. Where it says sugar and glucose fru fructose, it's actually really a blend of real sugar as well as high fructose corn syrup. We call it glucose fructose up here in Canada. Um, the fact that it uses real sugar makes it taste a bit different than if it were just to use straight for high fructose corn syrup. And I like it better that way, but it's not 100% perfect. Anyway, uh, without further ado, let's crack this thing open and uh, take a look at it. Yeah. Love the fact I can open the bottle with a bottle opener. It's not a twist off. Do it a pour here. Glorious HD. As you can see, it's got a. It had a bit of fizz, bit of head, that uh, really dissipated very quickly. Um, being a soda pop, that's not a very big surprise. There's carbonation bubbles all the way through the uh, body of, the, of the, the, the soda, or pop up here. And if you can see that in the light, it's got a very like, deep ruby red brown appearance. Almost brown, bordering on red. And that's only if you shine light through it. Really, Coca-Cola has always been looked at as being a black soda pop. No, no head, no lacing. But for a soda pop, or for a, a pop of the the, the cola genre, genre rather, sorry, uh, it it does look like it, it looks definitely the part. In fact, it's the archetype of the type, the original, the real thing. So let's give it a sniff. It's got a sweet smell. It interspersed with that sweetness is a smell typical of, of colas, of uh, the cola nut. That almost sweet, semi-brown sugar-ish smell with a hint of bitterness to the, sn the smell. Phenomenally sweet. And it's not like the aroma comes right off of that. You have to stick your nose pretty close to it in order to get a smell. All in all, I like the smell of Coca-Cola. I always have. Hmm. Nice. Let's dig in. Again, it's predominantly sweet. It's got 
that typical cola taste but a slight bitterness. Not a very overwhelming bitterness and a barely noticeable bitterness, but it's there. In the roof of the mouth. Basically drenches your tongue with sweetness. One thing it's got really going for it is that it's not watery. And the there's a touch of that high fructose corn syrup like bland sweetness or um, more sweeter sweetness with a touch of the granulated sugar bitterness as well and that granulated sugar bitterness gives coca-cola or Canadian coca-cola a, a very clean crisp kind of flavor going down especially mixed with that with the carbonation it's well carbonated. And one of my favorite things about drinking it out of the glass bottle is that glass bottles leave hardly any flavor of the container in the in, in the beverage. Uh, with cans, you, you tend to get a little touch of, uh, it's not so bad anymore, but you used to get a little, uh, a strong tinge of aluminum to the flavor. And in a plastic bottle, it's, there's almost like a plasticky, subdued mildness to the flavor, and it's not as quite appealing as it would be out of this one. This one tastes nice and clean and crisp. My favorite way to drink Coca-Cola. So, I think I'm going to sit down with this one and uh, come back with some thoughts. I'll be right back. We're back with Canadian Coca-Cola. So what did I think? It's very nice. This has to be one of my all-time favorite beverages of any type. This is a uh, it's a great beverage to wake you up in the morning. Tastes great. I find that it's got a nice subtle cola slash maybe a hint of brown sugar and caramel flavor to it as well as a tiny bit of almost white noise sugar bitterness to it and that's probably comes from the use of either uh, it's either granulated sugar or cane sugar that they use in this um, it's not quite the same as it used to be uh, there was one point and actually this change occurred in like the last you know six to seven years uh, where coca-cola in Canada was um, Coca-Cola in Canada used to use pure sugar now it also it uses uh, glu glucose fructose as well as sugar in a blend and, of course, that's our name for uh, high fructose corn syrup. Um, I find that it's got a stickier, almost slightly sweeter taste to it, uh, along with the regular flavors of sugar. Uh, it's almost not noticeable, but I see it there. That's about the only thing I can say that's bad about this version of Coke. Um, I've had Coke from other, part, other countries, other parts of the world, and I find that the ones that you use, like high fructose corn syrup, just don't quite taste the same. It's not quite the same, and the uh, last couple of years, it's it's still good. I just don't like it as much as it used to be. Um, I do, however, like it best out of the glass bottle, and I find that if you have glass bottles available to you, certainly pick that up. Um, I would definitely recommend that. And as such, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5, just because um, while it's my favorite of, of any type of beverage, um, so maybe Chimay, Grand Reserve, uh, I would say that, dude, pick it up. I would definitely try this. And uh, if you're a Coke drinker, try to track it down in the glass bottles or step across the Canadian border and find this. Uh, I also think that uh, in the States it comes in forms like kosher cola, like kosher for, for which doesn't contain corn syrup, as well as Mexican. In Mexico they don't use uh, corn syrup there either. Uh, so, 4.5 out of 5 for me. That's, uh, that's it for my Coca-Cola review, and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, subscribe for more. Also, if you like me doing uh, soda pop reviews, I'd be happy to do more. There's lots of random different pops that are available in my area, so um, certainly shoot me, a, shoot me a PM or post a comment to this video and let me know. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.